Hello everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for a simple crochet pouch. Now you can use this pouch as a coin purse or as a gift pouch. And the best part is it is completely customizable. So you can make the pouches in any size. You can make it wider, you can make it taller. So depending on your needs, you can adapt the pattern very, very easily. So if you see here, this has snap buttons for the closure. So I have used two sets. Uh, if you want, you can just add one somewhere in the middle for the closure. It's a very simple and easy pattern. It's actually inspired by one of my previous videos. I had earlier done a hook case uh, where I had used a very special stitch and it has received so much of love from you. So I thought of adapting it uh, to make a small pouch. I wanted to do something for the holiday season. So I have used almost the same pattern and adapted it to make it into a small pouch. If you're looking for that particular hook case pouch, I will leave the link here on the i button as well as in the description box. If you're interested, you can check that out. Okay. Now, first of all, let's see the supplies and then we'll head over to the pattern. Now for this um, pouches, you can use any weight yarn, uh, but you have to just go with the recommended hook size. For this particular pattern, I have used DK weight cotton yarn. And with that, I have used a size G or a 4 mm crochet hook. Apart from that, you would require a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. And of course, you would require buttons so snap buttons, big or small, whatever you have at hand. And you'll also need a small needle to attach the buttons. So these are with respect to the supplies. Uh, now, if you are looking for some other crochet patterns, um, pouches or some quick uh, crochet patterns that you can give us gifts, uh, I do have a few on my channel. So I'll put all the link in the description box. Uh, so if you're interested, do check that out. Now let's move into the tutorial. So we'll start this pattern by making a slip knot first. So make your slip knot. And once you have that, we will start making chain stitch. So I'm going to start with 21 chain stitch. Chain 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like that, I'm going to make a total of 21 chain stitch. Now the number of chain stitch will depend on the width of the pouch that you are making. So whatever is the pouch width that you are looking for, that many chain stitch you can put. So I'll just show you. So the chain stitch that you will be making will be the width of the pouch. So depending on the width you want, you can increase or decrease the number of chain stitch. You can put as many chain stitch as you want. There are no odd or even or any multiples. You just make the chain stitch according to the width of the pouch so let me just give it a count so here i have got my 21 chain stitch and this will be the width of my pouch now if you have to consider the small one here this pouch uh, this i had started with 16 chain stitch i wanted to make the next pouch a little bit bigger so that's why i'm going to start with 21 chain stitch all right once you have your foundation chain stitch we'll start row one so row one is just going to be a normal single crochet row. So we'll do that. So for row one, we are going to skip the very first chain stitch and start putting a single crochet throughout the row. So skip the first stitch, go into the second chain stitch and make a single crochet. Come to your next chain stitch. Again, put a single crochet like that. Go ahead and make a row of single crochet till you reach the end of this row. So I'm just going to put one single crochet in each of these stitches. So I had started with 21 chain stitch. Once I finish row one, I'll have 20 single crochet. So whatever is your chain stitch number, you will have one less single crochet for row one. So I'll just complete the single crochet row and join you. So here I'm at the end of row one. I have just put one single crochet in every stitch. Let's move on to the next row. Now the entire pattern will be the repeat of row 2. So let's see how to do that. So for row 2, we are going to start with 1 chain stitch, chain 1 and then turn your work. Now we are going to do a single crochet 2 together stitch. So this is how we will be doing. So this is the chain 1. Come to your first stitch here, first single crochet. Just insert your hook into the first stitch like this and pull up a loop. 
okay just like you do for a single crochet again insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all the three loops so this is single crochet two together stitch so we'll do that again now what we'll do is we we'll insert our hook where we have finished the stitch so here itself the same stitch where we had finished I'm going to insert my hook there and pull up a loop I will insert my hook into the next stitch and then pull up a loop you have three loops you yarn over and pull through all the three so this is our next single crochet together stitch we'll do that again so every time we start the stitch it will be in the stitch where we have ended so this is the place where we again start so insert your hook into the stitch and pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch this time and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the three loops so this is your single crochet two together stitch and this is what you will be repeating till you reach the end of this row so we'll do that so i'm going to start where i have ended so insert your hook into that stitch and pull up a loop now insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the three loops we'll do that again so insert your hook where you have just now finished pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the three loops so just go ahead and finish continue this pattern till you reach the end of this row i'll show you how to finish off this row so i'll make the single crochet two together stitch so here i'm almost at the end of this row so i thought of finishing the last few stitches with you so i'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same pattern making single crochet two together till i reach the very last stitch so i'm just placing a single crochet two together stitch so this was where i have finished so i'll start the same place the next single crochet two together so this is my second last stitch here also i have put my single crochet two together stitch okay so here i have the very last stitch left so here again i can make the single crochet two together so insert your hook into the second last stitch pull up a loop insert your hook into the very last stitch of this row pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the three loops so we have completed the last single crochet two together stitch now there are uh, there are no more stitches to do a single crochet two together this is the very last stitch so when you reach the very last stitch once you put your single crochet two together you will be ending the row with just a normal single crochet so after you put the single crochet two together into the very last stitch finish it off with a normal single crochet so here i'm putting a normal single crochet stitch so that is the end of row two so we have done single crochet two together and in the very last stitch we have put a normal single crochet and we are going to repeat this uh, till we have the length for our pouch so we are repeating row two so we'll start again so from here every row will be starting with chain one and we'll turn our work and then we'll continue to make single crochet two together till we reach the very last stitch so using the two stitches we are going to do the single crochet two together so insert your hook pull up a loop now insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the three loops so this is the first single crochet two together stitch of this row we'll continue this so we are going to put the next stitch here where we have ended we are going to start there itself so insert your hook pull up a loop insert your hook in the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through all the three so this is my next single crochet two together like that you can go ahead and complete your uh, row till you reach the very last stitch so i'll show you how to end this row also so i'll show you once again so we are we'll always be starting where we have ended that's the only thing that you have to take care so insert your hook pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the three loops so this is our single crochet two together like this i'll just continue this pattern till i reach the very end and i'll show you how to finish off this row also 
So continue this and I'll join you. All right. So this is how this looks. I'm almost at the end of this row. I have last two stitches left. So I'll make my second last single crochet two together stitch here. I have my very last stitch left. So I can use this stitch and the very last stitch to make my very last single crochet two together stitch. So this is the end of this row. And to finish off this row, you will be putting a normal single crochet into the very last stitch. So I'm just going to put a single crochet into the very last stitch to finish off this row. Now, once you finish row two, uh, you should be having 20 stitches. So you just count the stitches, including the single crochet that we have put. You should have a total of 20 stitches. So for me, it is 20. Uh, so whatever is your chain stitch number, the starting chain stitch number, uh, one less than that. That should be the stitch count in every row from here on. Okay, so I'll just start the next row. Uh, this is the same thing that we are going to do. I'll just start again with you. So chain one, turn your work and then into the first stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all the three. Again, insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all the three. So this is my next single crochet two together. Like this, you can just go ahead and repeat the pattern. Only thing that you have to take care is you have to start the stitch where you have ended your previous stitch. So this is where I have ended. I'll insert my hook into that same stitch, pull up a loop. Now insert your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all the three. So just go ahead and continue this pattern till you reach the very last stitch. And into the very last stitch, you will be making the normal single crochet so that's all to the pattern so i'll just complete this and i'll just end this row again with you just so that if you have any confusion that can be taken care of so just go ahead and continue making single crochet two together stitches all right so here i'm at the end of this row i have the very last stitch left so into the second last stitch i'll insert my hook pull up a loop I'll insert my hook into the very last stitch, pull up a loop, I'll yarn over and pull through all the three loops. So this is my very last single crochet two together stitch. And to finish off this row, I'm going to end it with a normal single crochet like this. So that is the end of this row. Okay. So this is how our strip is looking so far. Make sure you have the exact same number of stitches in every row. For my case, it is going to be 20 stitches for every row. Now you just go ahead and repeat the same pattern, the row two pattern till you get a long rectangular strip. I am going to make about 30 rows of the single crochet two together stitches. So I'll just complete that long strip and then I'll join you. Okay. So here I have continued the pattern and I have made a long rectangular strip and I'm just stopping here after 30 rows. So I'll just show you how I'm planning to fold. So once you get your rectangular strip like this, you can just fold it like this and just use this as to cover it. So this is how our pouch is going to look like this is the width length all of it now if you want to have much more depth then you can just go ahead and repeat the pattern um, and make it a little bit longer so i'm just stopping here and this will be the fold of it we have two more rows to complete so that will that is where we'll adding the handle of it okay so we'll do that so once you're ready with your long rectangular strip we'll start the last two rows so what we'll do is we will start with chain one and then turn our work. Now I'm going to put normal single crochet in the first five stitches. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both the loops. This is a normal single crochet. I'm going to do it five times. So one, two, three, four, and one more five okay so here I have put five single crochets after that I'm going to skip the next ten stitches and when I'm going to skip the ten stitches 
I'm going to put 12 chain stitch okay so once you make five single crochet make 12 chain stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so here I have put 12 chain stitch now I'm going to skip the next 10 stitches so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and into the next stitch, into 11th stitch, I'm going to make a single crochet. So I'll just go ahead and make a single crochet here. So this is one. I'll have four more stitches to do. So one single crochet is made here. This is my second single crochet, two. Here is the third single crochet, fourth single crochet and one last one I have to put five okay so here I have put five single crochet so this is what our piece looks so far so what I have done is I have put five single crochets here five single crochets in the other side and in between I have skipped 10 stitches and when I skip 10 stitches uh, instead of that I have put 12 chain stitch two extra than the skipped stitches so if you are starting with some other stitch count you can maybe add five or six single crochet this side five or six single crochet this side and the remaining stitches you can skip and whatever is the stitch count that you have skipped add two extra and make the chain stitch that is how you can customize it okay so once you are done this we will move on to the next row so before we move on to the next row we have to cut this yarn off so I'm just so once you are done with this row, I'm just going to cut my yarn here like this. And the last row, we will do it in uh, by joining the entire pouch. Okay, so that's how we'll be doing the very last row. Now we'll do the very last row and we'll join the pouch also. So I'm just going to fold my pouch here. Okay, I think this looks good. Now I'm going to take the yarn again. I'll start with a slip knot uh, and then we will be making single crochet throughout. Okay, so just take my hook also and I'm going to make a single crochet throughout all through this. So we'll start I'm once you have folded come to the very first stitch here and start making single crochet to into the very base start with a single crochet come to your next stitch take one stitch from here take one stitch and make a single crochet so like this you can go around and make a full row of single crochet now try to keep it as even as possible the sides are not very clearly defined so try to keep it as even as possible just insert your hook through one side come to your next stitch from the other side and make a single crochet so i'll just go ahead and make a row of single crochet so once you join the two flaps you can go through one piece so think I have reached the very last yes here again I just go and make a single crochet like this okay. so if you see this side is completely joined now I'm going to make a single crochet on this piece so I'm just going to continue this making a single crochet like this so continue making single crochet till you reach the very edge so I'm just placing a single crochet as evenly as possible so this is the very last stitch of my edge here I'm going to put three single crochet this is one this is two and one more stitch at this place so at the very edge just to get a nice turn I have put three single crochet so one I, we have made five single crochet at this point one single crochet has been taken care of 
Now I'm going to make four more single crochets. So this is two. So this was the first stitch that I have put uh, three single crochet. Into the second stitch I'm putting one single crochet. Into the third stitch I'm putting one single crochet. Fourth stitch one single crochet. Fifth stitch one single crochet. Remember we had made five single crochets here. Into the first stitch I had put three. In the next four I had put one single crochet each. Now we have this chain stitch here. So I had made 12 chain stitches. I'm going to add two to it. So I'm going to make a total of 14 single crochet on this chain stitch. So whatever is the chain stitch, you add two extra single crochet to it. So I'm going to put 14. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll just complete my 14 stitches. So here I have put 14 single crochet on this chain stitches. So this was my very last stitch. Now I have five stitches left here. So into your first stitch, just make a single crochet. So this is my first stitch here. So one single crochet into the next stitch, again a single crochet, two, three, and one more, four. So here I have put four single crochet. I have reached the very last edge. So into the very last stitch, the fifth stitch, I'm going to put three single crochets. So just put three single crochet in the same stitch, one, two, and one more, three like this okay now I'm going to just go ahead and make a single crochet on this side as well so make a single crochet till here then using this flap go ahead and make a single crochet on this side also so that will complete your pouch so I'll just start this with you so just turn your work and make a single crochet down till you reach the other side okay so I'm just going to place one single crochet in the stitches like this so here i have completed the single crochet on the side also and you can see the pouch is ready okay so i'll just cut my yarn here so this was my very last single crochet you can cut off your yarn at this point so the pouch is almost done you just need to hide in all the loose ends so you can use a darning needle and just hide in all the loose ends so I'll just do that so basically what we have done at this point is we have uh, once you get the rectangular strip we had started a single crochet just one row of single crochet so we have started from here gone around this and then on the chain stitch also we had put the single crochet come through this side and then finish it off here so that is how we have finished off the single crochet. Now I'm just going to hide in the loose ends. So just take your yarn needle and go through a couple of stitches up and down. So once through this side, I'll go a few more stitches and then come back. And then we can cut the yarn off. I'll go in the reverse side also. Okay, this should be enough. Okay, so if you want, you can go one more time in the opposite side. So I can just cut my yarn here. Like that, I'll just hide in this end, this end, or all the loose ends, I'll just hide in and then also I'm going to attach now buttons so for this if you see here I have attached this snap buttons so that is what I'll be attaching on the other one also so you can attach something like this the four buttons or what you can do is you can use a bigger uh, snap button and probably attach it on the center here also if you want you can attach one but uh, I'm just going to attach on the two sides so i'll finish that off and then show you how this looks so here i have added in my buttons and i have weaved in all the loose ends and our pouch is ready 
So yeah, that was a tutorial on how to do this very simple, easy crochet pouch. Uh, now, if you want, you can add a name tag to it if you have if you're running in shop or you get handmade that kind of tags also you get. So if you want, you can attach it or just keep it plain and simple. Now, as I as you I had said earlier, I have made it in two different sizes. It's almost the same. This one is a slightly smaller. So you definitely can customize the size. You can make it bigger, smaller according to your needs. You can make it like a clutch also, make it really big. If you want, you can add applique. So yeah, with the basic pattern, you can customize it according to your needs. So that was it for today, today's tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed making it. Uh, now, if you're making one, please do tag me in your pictures. I have left all my social media handle links in the description box. If you're looking for other crochet pouches, baskets, bags, all of that, I have a separate playlist. So I have put that on the end screen as well as in the description box. If you're interested, do check that up as well. So that's it for today's tutorial. See you in another video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for watching.